What did you I, dream about? The wind. The wind. They're singing Old MacDonald. They've been singing Old MacDonald for a solid half an hour now. It's Fox's favorite song. I haven't vlogged in so long. It's been like two weeks since I last vlogged. Actually, fun fact, you may have known, the last vlog I filmed, I was like trying to hide my pregnancy. Just don't get my belly in the mirror. I know since our pregnancy announcement, a lot of people have gone back to my last vlog and been like, oh my gosh, how did I not notice you were pregnant? We're all in the loop now. I am 17 weeks pregnant. In a few days, I will be 18. So by the time this video is up, I'll be 18 weeks pregnant. I have a full list of like pregnancy related videos I want to make. I want to do a full video on like my aversions and cravings and an honest like what I eat in a day of my first trimester. Because let me tell you, I would love to sit here and say that when I'm pregnant, I just like live off green juice and healthy salads. I'm just this ball of health in pregnancy form, but I'm not. Like, I love two-minute noodles, lollies, chips. I think it's important, especially if, like, someone like me who has, like, a health and fitness channel, I need to be honest and authentic. And I told you guys with Fox's pregnancy, I was loving junk food. Like, I was just... In saying all this, I will do a dedicated video on food. So definitely comment them below whether you want to know like my symptoms, how I knew I was pregnant and all that kind of stuff. But today, I just want to keep it like a normal day in the life vlog. It is Saturday. We are still in lockdown. I think we're like almost up to four months of lockdown. I have completely lost count at this point. Pardon? <gasps> you got a new bear. Can I have a look? Also, I have a little bit of a confession. <gasps> Once I had a toddler, I was like, okay, I'm never gonna have like a fully clean, pristine house anymore. But our house is to another level. Like I can deal with like a little untidy and like toys and paintbrushes and whatever, but our house is... Kurt, what's the state of our house right now? Like an atomic bomb hit it. I'm gonna show you what our house looks like because maybe it'll make you feel normal as well. This is my house right now. This. All needs to be put away. This is clean. This is dirty. Kurt left this overnight from his steak that he had at like 5 p.m. This is the bad thing about having a big kitchen island. It's amazing because you have like all this room to do fun stuff and cook, but it also accumulates mess. I have all of this laundry that needs to be put away. Oh, we got a new TV. I didn't even know about it. Boy things. Old TV, which is just laying there right now. Not too bad. And this is our bedroom. That's an honest start to our Saturday. What the heck are you? You haven't even had breakfast yet are you kidding we just had what a, are you eating vanilla almond, vanilla almond. <laughs> <laughs> are you kidding me and now my son's having whatever no we just had two from pepico pepico what the heck and they sent one package for the new bubba and yeah. then one one package for me and you full of chocolates and treats oh, <laughs> and you're eating our chocolates and treats <laughs> well i mean i can't eat them right now <laughs> oh he wants to show you how he punches um, the balloon yeah, very good boxing, man. Da, 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 da. So, to top off the morning, when I was in bed, I realized I don't have any oat milk. And oat milk is my new thing. Like, when I'm not pregnant, I'm gluten intolerant. But when I get pregnant, Did fun fact, me. I can eat a little Did bit of gluten and full on me. dairy. I can Did eat cheese. I can eat yogurt. It's literally, I just like, my tummy isn't sensitive. My digestion isn't sensitive. Whoa, segue. Since becoming pregnant, oat milk, I can just like drink a liter of oat milk. It's like so creamy and delicious. Oh. I really did this way too full. Oh man. It's like the awkward fullness where I can't mix it properly. So I'm gonna drink this and then let's go up the street, get oat milk, have a coffee. Are you guys gonna come with me? Yeah. yeah. I've got a secret. So you know how baby's coming soon? Yeah, baby's coming next year. But guess what? Just when baby comes, you get your new big boy room. Yeah. Does that sound good? Yeah. Should we go have a look? I'm gonna show you what it's gonna look like. Come upstairs. <gasps> This is gonna be your new room. You get to sleep in here and play in here. <gasps> Here's what I'm thinking. We have a big bed down here and you get to sleep in this room. I'm thinking we could put like a tool bench here and maybe like something fun to play with here. When you get older, you can sit here and do your homework. Like this on the computer. This is your new room. 
Do you want to move up here? Yeah. yeah. It's going to be so fun. We're going to make it an adventure. Make it a thing. Make it inclusive. <laughs> and it's going to work. Yeah. So you say to everyone, yeah. welcome to my new room. New room. Happy. Oh. Yeah. Tent. But for now, what do we need to go get? Oat milk. Oat milk. Let's go. Coffee. Coffee. <laughs> what are we getting? Coffee! Mum, what are we getting? Much needed morning beverage. Coffee! 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 Mummy, you see him? Yeah, I can see him. Here in the boat. Nice. <laughs> yeah, what happened? What'd you do? Yeah, you fell when we were getting coffees? Up there. Should we have a look what one it is? Oh, it's Captain America! Mwah. Mm. I just need to get the dirt out of it. Hey, one little spray. Hey. Good boy. Cool. You're so brave. Oh, are you okay? I'll feed chickens. Okay, you want to go feed the chickens, okay. There's some lettuce. Who are you going to feed the lettuce to? Chickens. Bye. Say bye, Mum. We love you. Bye, bye. We love you. Have fun feeding chickens. I want to do a workout. I'm going to consider that coffee my pre-workout coffee. And I'll just do like a workout around the neighborhood. Like I'll work out in the gym, go for a little run. And then aside from the workout, I'm just going to clean the house. Like I just want to organize the fridge, organize all this. So while the boys are out feeding, our neighbor, by the way, has chickens. And he has like these little holes in the fence. So he like lets the kids come and feed them stuff. Fox is going to go feed them some lettuce. Yeah, while the boys are there, I'm going to tackle like I secretly love it. Do you know what I love? Because I love that you can see the before. Before. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna take before and afters for Instagram. If you follow me on Instagram here, Sarah's underscore day, you would have already seen it and it's just it's gonna be so satisfying. It's gonna be like tap here to clean. I love them. Like, how was your Saturday? I just took photos of my messy kitchen. Oh my gosh, this is the mess. This is great. This is great. Without further ado, let's transform this space. <laughs> Foxy, look, you got dippy egg. Whoa, your first ever dippy egg. What you have to do, these are called soldiers, and you dip the soldier in the dippy egg. Whoa, and then you can turn it. Let go the pool. Yeah, go, but pretend that's a pool. You go jump in the pool. No. You don't like my dippy egg? You want to try it with this one? No. is not how it was supposed to go. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right, I'm gonna have my egg then. Snooze your loose, bro. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> hear that thunder? Did you hear? No thunder. Yeah, it's gonna storm later today. Are you excited? Yeah. Okay, you can either have a shark, yeah. a flying dragon, yeah. <gasps> a dinosaur. Yeah. That's it, what one do you want? Shark, dinosaur, or dragon? Dragon. Dragon? Okay, yeah. I'll do the dinosaur. What I see. Okay, so you have to hold this. Beautiful. Okay, and now you've got to spread it on with the knife. That's so good. Great spreading, mate. Some sprinkles. Sprinkle, and sprinkle it, on. it on top. Oh, yeah, that's good. Oh, the big ones. Oh, my goodness. Oh, man, that looks so good. My garden. Oh, beautiful. Mommy. I don't foresee us having a good Wait, nap after this sugar high. Figure, figure, figure. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Oh. oh, look, they're like mini dinosaurs. Oh, <laughs> straight in the mouth. One portion of the kitchen complete. Here is the before, here is the after. Is that not the most satisfying thing you've seen thus far? Love this for us. Let's tackle the main event. We need to have a little DNM. Can anyone relate? I don't want to speak too loud because I don't want to admit it. Kurt and I just had a little argument, okay? I'm trying to be level-headed and grown up and mature and ask myself, am I being overly emotional because my hormones are raging in pregnancy or is my husband being 
we need to talk somewhere more private. Maybe the fact that I'm embarrassed to talk about it means like maybe I'm not in the right. It is nearly six o'clock now. When I film a day in the life vlog, I don't plan anything. I basically just will like tell Kurt, especially if it's on the weekend, I'll tell him like, hey, I'm gonna vlog tomorrow. So let's just like hang out. Like maybe don't spend, you know, the day out in the surf or like whatever. It's just like, it's nice to be a family and it's really hard to vlog by myself with Fox, obviously, because toddlers are crazy. So anyway, I had told him, yeah, I wanna vlog today. And then earlier this morning, I said, if you wanna work out, like it would be awesome if we could work out together. And so in the meantime, like while Kurt was putting Fox to sleep, I was just editing the telling my husband I'm pregnant vlog, which is up here. I just uploaded it. So great, I was productive, but like who wants to be productive in a work sense on a Saturday? I like being productive in the house and like cleaning the house, but I don't wanna work and like edit. Kurt emerges from Fox's room. <laughs> <laughs> if Kurt ever sees me on my laptop working, he will like take it as an opportunity to like do something he's wanted to do, which like it's fair enough. But like I thought that <laughs> it's just a lack of communication. If you're married or in a long-term relationship, I'm hoping you can be like, yes, like we've been through this. So I was waiting for him to come over to be like, hey, did you want to train now? Like, what do you want to do? Like, do you want to vlog something together? Whatever. But from the corner of my eye, I saw him grab the sound system, which whatever, a part of the TV. Like I said, he didn't even tell me we were getting a new TV and it's huge. Anyway, so I see him grab the sound system and go upstairs. He was upstairs for three hours, almost three hours, putting together this sound system. And he comes downstairs and during that time, I'm like fuming. I'm like thinking, not only have you like not vlogged with me today, you didn't work out with me. You didn't ask, how am I feeling? Am I nauseous today? Just like raging, you know, and like you stew on it. I can just feel the comments right now being like, you're a psycho. Do you want me to be honest? Like, do you want me to be honest? Because this is me being honest. An honest wife, an honest pregnant wife. But I feel like I would feel like this even if I wasn't pregnant. Anyway, so he comes downstairs and he's like, hey, like what's wrong? He can like feel the vibe. He can feel, but classic me style. I just go, nothing, he knows. If I give him a monotone, nothing, he knows. He's in the doghouse. I hate that saying. He knows he's in trouble. That's not climactic enough. He knows Sarah's grumpy. He knows I'm in a bad mood, okay? So anyway, we end up arguing that like, oh, I should have just said, let's do something, let's work out. But I'm like, I already told you this morning that I wanna work out. I wanted you to come to me and say, let's work out because I wanna feel like you wanna work out with me because I feel like I'm always asking you and you never asked me to work out. You know what I'm saying? Do you know what I'm saying? Am I crazy? <laughs> I don't feel like I am. I don't feel like I am. So anyway, I'm like annoyed at myself that I didn't just say, okay, like I'm going to go work out during Fox's nap, like while Kurt is at home. I'm annoyed at myself that like I worked all Saturday, like I just edited a vlog and I'm annoyed at him. What I just explained before, I'm just grumpy and now we're not talking. <sighs> So there's just like tension, you know? And like, we don't like fighting around Fox. So we just like act happy around Fox, but like, we'll get over it. Like we'll get over it in 15 minutes. Like Kurt and I, I think our longest fight has literally been maybe like an hour because then he says something and then I laugh and then I try to stay angry and I just laugh at him. So like, it's fine. Tell me I'm not alone. Like, please comment below, tell me. Because normally, normally I would be like, oh, I'm not vlogging, like I'll vlog tomorrow or something, which yes, I am gonna finish this vlog tomorrow because I wanna work out. I wanna show you guys how I'm training during pregnancy it's very diverse like segue whatever we'll talk about that tomorrow but I've been on YouTube since 2013 2013 it's 2021 we're at the end the bottom half the last half of 2021 I've been on YouTube for a very long time and if there's a time to be very candid and honest it's probably now and yeah my husband and I we have dumb arguments and they're usually surrounded by like not communicating like both of us not saying what we want and just assuming that the other knows but I mean I did tell him this morning but anyway right now my pregnancy craving has kicked in oh my gosh I need to show you something another confession like look we we're pretty healthy today I had like my normal brunch while I was editing I had a Tropica protein bar I filmed a TikTok with body bloom. If you follow me on TikTok, you would have seen that. My camera's about to die, so I'm gonna charge her. I'm gonna make dinner. I'll show you what I end up making, just like a little, let's put it here. This is what I had for dinner. Present self, I have no idea what it is, but I'm super excited to watch this vlog and see what I actually had for dinner. I'm hoping it's like a soup. I'm in the mood for a soup. I need like a bath or like a big sleep and a one-on-one -on -one with Kurt. 
and I'm gonna wake up tomorrow, watch church, let go of grudges, do a workout. Good night, I'll see you tomorrow. Pineapple, my pine, my pine. Pineapple. I like when you sing it low, sing pineapple low. Pineapple. Do the long one, the pineapple. Pineapple. Here Good morning, happy Sunday. Kind of same outfit, just a different vibe. I am gonna work out today. I just had a really big. Pineapple! I'm cutting it. So I'm getting serenaded as I cut the pineapple. All we've been doing is eating. We did some gardening outside, like we did some home maintenance stuff, which is. That's gonna mow the lawns. That's like my favorite thing to do on a Sunday, just like be productive in the backyard and the front yard. I'm gonna wait till my food settles and then I am gonna do a workout. Not like yesterday where I boycott it. I am gonna do a workout. Pineapple, pineapple. I love no, you, love that other pineapple. Song. That's the best one. We're Mr. Clickety Cane, plays the silly games. All the kids in the street, they like to do the same. Wash your face with Orange juice. Orange, juice. Orange juice. Clean your teeth with bubble gum. Bubble, bubble gum. Fix the fence with stick, stick your tape. Brush your hair with a toothbrush. toothbrush. Oh. Fry an egg on a slippery dip. <laughs> Belly flop on it. Pizza. Pizza. <laughs> That's his new favorite song. Oh, uh, I love it. As well as the Foo Fighters. Very, oh, yeah. We're very inconsistent in this family. Okay, I'm hoping it's not too windy and you can hear me. I smash out today's workout. Let me just preface again. During my first trimester, I really, really struggled to not even work out, but like move. So working out was the least of my worries. I just, yeah, as you guys know from the last video we uploaded, we were going through a lot of emotional issues. I don't really know how to word that. We were just going through a lot, which led me to just pretty much sit on the couch. And I was also feeling sick. So pretty much for the whole, first trimester, especially like weeks 8 to 14, I really struggled to be consistent with my workouts. So only the past few weeks have I kind of been like back on track. But in saying that, I haven't really worked out, well I haven't worked out for the past two days. And I just think without like doing a full DNM about this, my lifestyle is just different now and having a toddler and running multiple companies, I just kind of work out when I can. But I am doing my second ebook with you guys. But if I have extra energy like today, there's no scheduled workout, but I just have lots of energy. Okay. So the plan is I'm gonna do a block run and the reason I got an Apple watch for my birthday Is so I can kind of watch my heart rate because I do listen to my body Obviously and now being my second time pregnant I kind of know when I'm too puffed or like when to slow down But it's just nice to have that extra reassurance with your heart rate So I'll do a block run I think it's around one kilometer and I can usually do the first two runs and then after that I will run like 200 meters and then I just power walk home So yeah, I'm just gonna kind of wing the first circuit but I will film it all for you and that's kind of what I've been doing lately when I'm not pregnant You guys have seen me have like a piece of paper I write down my workout just so I have like a goal But when I'm pregnant, I kind of just like to listen to my body and see how I'm feeling So after the block run, I'll assess how my heart rate is if I need to get it down I'll just do like some hip thrusts or some upper body work instead of going into like burpees or a ball slam or something like that I will film this entire workout for you. I'm in a really good headspace. I'm excited to move I just want to move my body and um have a healthy, fit and active pregnancy. <laughs> before I give you the debrief of the workout because I need to chat about some stuff. I can feel myself getting comments being like, how do you look pregnant in normal life? And then particularly during the exercise where I'm like on all fours, this one, 
I potentially don't look pregnant or I look less pregnant. Now, I showed this on my Insta stories and I think it's really important to share. So I did ballet from three years old until I was like 17, I think. And one of the first things you learn is the importance of core engagement. And you're not necessarily sucking, but you're engaging your belly button towards your spine, which helps support your back, support your glutes, and make sure your abs are wrapping together. So in every exercise, or in that case, every ballet movement, you're engaging your core and utilizing your core muscles and core strength rather than like the outer abs. So especially in pregnancy, I highly recommend going to see a women's health specialist, like a physio. I see Charlotte at Flow Physio Co. She's incredible and she really drilled into me to keep an eye on my abs and make sure they're not coning. I'll put a picture here. So after giving birth to Fox, I think I had like a three centimeter gap in between my abs. So I did a lot of rehab to bring them back together. So once you give birth, you have to do different core exercises to help bring your abs back together. But even when you're pregnant, you still want to be engaging and utilizing your core but not necessarily doing like sit-ups and crunches or anything that's going to be pulling your abs apart so regardless of what exercise I'm doing I always kind of decompress it's not sucking in it's just wrapping the abs together that's kind of what it feels like you want to go get rid of all the air and knit the abs together it's like you're zipping your abs together instead of just like tensing and hardening them you're kind of buckling them together and engaging belly button towards your spine so that's important in everything whether it's squats lunges arm work ab work running everything so that's why in a lot of like my workout videos i don't look pregnant it's just because i'm engaging my core <gasps> it's getting a bit windy now so hopefully you can hear me on that last run back i was trying to tell myself or like remember did i do four rounds or three i'm pretty sure i did three oh like 29 minutes in i really lacked some motivation so i could do the first one kilometer run after that run whether i did three or four i don't remember i pretty much much walked it I would like run 200 meters and then walk the rest because my heart rate was just getting too high so I will put on the screen here the stats of the workout it was roughly 50 minutes long and what you guys saw there was pretty much what I did I did incorporate some other random exercises here and there just like what I felt like doing yeah at the end of the day today I just wanted to move but all in all it was a really good workout I'm glad I moved Fox is still asleep the lawns are done Kurt's gonna go for a surf and I'm gonna go inside and wait till Foxy wakes up but I hope you guys enjoyed this first official vlog being pregnant I wouldn't necessarily call it a pregnancy vlog but it's just so nice feeling like I can vlog so openly and honestly again yeah it's just nice that we're all on the same page we all know everything that's going on and I'm mentally in a really good space I'm super excited to meet this baby and yeah bring you guys along the journey I'm gonna say bye Kurt you're gonna go for a surf I'm gonna say bye too sorry I haven't really seen, said much in this vlog <laughs> sorry guys I love you all still bye <laughs>